Hi there, it's Michelle Early with Magnolia School of Real Estate. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than normal. Normally I would have a slide and you would be able to see the question and really take your time with it. Um, and today's video is just gonna be different. It's gonna be a quick video, 10 quick questions, because the purpose of this video is actually really special because the purpose of this video is to ask yourself, am I studying the actual material on the state exam? So let's chat for just about a minute or two. Don't forward this part to get right to the questions because this part is so important. So listen to this all the time. I'm watching videos on YouTube and I told you before that sometimes I laugh like, oh, that's silly. That's not on the state exam. Sometimes I get really mad because you're spending so much time studying stuff that's on the California state exam or the Tennessee state exam, the New York state exam. So when you start a YouTube channel, you have to select which state or states do I want this material that I'm putting out, this content, where do I want it to go? And what I have really seen a lot of on YouTube is a lot of these people that have these cram courses and have these you know, products that you can buy, they're marketing it to every single state. So I just wanted to take a quick second to tell you if you're going to watch a bunch of videos on YouTube, which is probably what you're doing, probably how you found this video, make sure it says the Florida real estate exam. Because when I started this channel, which at this point, it's only been probably three weeks ago, I've been helping you know thousands of students pass the state exam. I own Magnolia School of Real Estate here in Southwest Florida with Venice, Sarasota, Port Charlotte locations. Well, what I did when I started my YouTube channel is I just hit Florida. Because even though I could make a bunch more money if I, you know, put my cram course out to the entire nation, am I really helping people? No. So make sure, and I know I already said it, but just make sure that it says Florida Real Estate Exam. So again, here we go today. It's gonna be kinda, kinda fast. I'm just gonna ask you a question, and then you're gonna see if you can answer it. And here's what you're saying. I can read your mind. You're saying, wait a second. I need to see it because if it's in front of me, it'll be a lot easier. Well, of course, imagine if you could say the answer and not even have it in front of you. Now that means you're studying the right material because you have already studied this and you already have five flashcards for every one of these questions. So I'm gonna try not to talk too fast, get too excited, see if you can just shout out the answer. Um, and, and if you can get all 10, then you would say, okay, the material that I have, whatever that is, that is the actual material on the state exam. But if you go get through these and you say, hmm, I haven't heard that, or I didn't realize that was so important, or I didn't even think to study that, probably not studying the right material. And so that's when you would wanna visit magnoliaschoolofrealestate.com and purchase our $49 course that has everything on the state exam. It's about the cost of taking the test one extra time. So really it's free because you only have to take it one time. All right, let's start, I'm excited. Question number one, and again, just shout it out. How is the binder deposit notated on the closing disclosure? How is the binder deposit notated on the closing disclosure? 100%, this is on the state exam, this topic. And the answer is credit buyer. And sometimes they'll say credit buyer only. So today we're not gonna do explanations. It's just gonna be, this is the question, do I know it? Because if you know all 10, keep doing what you're doing. But if you don't, that's when you would again say, and I'm not gonna keep saying it, but that's when you would again say, Oh, hold on, maybe I'm not studying the right material. Okay, so how is the binder deposit notated? Credit buyer. Number two, what is the status of your license if you don't do the required 45 hour post license course before the first expiration of your license? What is the status of your license if you don't do the post? What is that? Shout it out. And the answer is null and void. Don't put involuntary and active. Some courses even say that, it's wrong. Null and void. Number three, also called legal notice, this is achieved by recording documents in the public records. 100% accuracy. Also called legal notice, this is achieved by recording documents in the public records. What kind of notice is that? Constructive notice. Constructive notice. Gonna see it. Which mortgage clause, now the minute you hear that, oh, we already know if you've watched the videos, we are about to ask you about the due on sale or the acceleration. So let's see which one it is. Which mortgage clause allows the mortgagee to the right to demand the outstanding loan balance plus accrued interest in the event that the borrower sells or transfers any interest in the property without the written consent of the lender? So in that one, you sold it, you had a loan, you didn't tell the lender. What clause? Do on sale, do on sale. 
Okay, this is just a real generic way to say this. If you know the answer, that means you've studied it enough and you're studying the right thing for this next one, number five, because it's kind of weird how I'm gonna word it. But if you know, you know. Okay, ready? Three people own a house. One person dies, now two people own it. How did they take ownership? Because that's what they're gonna ask. It's just gonna be fancier. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot fancier. Three people own a house, one person died, and now two people own it. How did they take ownership? 100%, this is on the state exam, and four. <laughs> so three owned it, one died, two owned it. They took ownership as joint tenants, or joint tenancy, or joint tenancy with the right of survivorship. It all means the same thing. If I had said three people owned it, and one died, and now these two still own it with their heirs, that would have been a tenancy in common. So again, joint tenancy. Three died, oh no, three didn't die. Three owned it, one died, two owned it. Joint tenancy. Number six, fill in this blank. Fill in this blank. I know it's hard like this, but that's what makes it so good because when you're ready, you're ready and you're able to just shout these out. Okay, fill in the blank. The FHA or FHA is a government blank loan. 100% on the state exam. Not this exact wording, of course, but you know what I mean, the topic. FHA is a government blank loan. And the answer is insured. FHA is a government insured loan. You're gonna see it 100%. VA is a government guaranteed loan. So um, again, I can't say this enough that these are not the exact questions. Um, this is just how we learn the material is knowing what topics they're gonna to ask. Number seven, see if you can shout this one out. If you've got this, you are studying where you need to be studying. If you can just shout this one right out, because if you didn't even know they were gonna ask this, you say, how am I supposed to memorize that? I didn't even know they are gonna ask that. But they are, here it is. What are the rules that the Florida Real Estate Commission makes and implements, or the FREC? What are the rules? Now, mind you, we're always studying laws. 475, 120, 720, you're gonna see 720. You're gonna see 475 too. But back to this one, I get too excited. Back to this one. What are the rules that the FREC makes? They're gonna give you different variations. And the answer is, hopefully you shouted it out, chapter 61J2. Chapter 61J2, it's in chapter two, you're gonna see it. Number eight, here's a, a little tricky one. If you, if you know it, you know it, let's see, shout it out. What is the penalty for a first time minor violation? What is the penalty for a first time minor violation? Definitely gonna see it. That's why these 10 are here. I guess I can stop saying that. <laughs> these are the 10 you're gonna see. What is the penalty for a first time minor violation? And the answer is a notice of non-compliance. A notice of non-compliance. Now, if you've already taken the state exam and we've just now covered eight of these, I know you're probably saying, oh dear God, I had all eight. I had all eight if I had just seen this video and, in the, and purchased the cram course because I've got hundreds of these on there. Okay, notice of non-compliance. Number nine, when do you show the no brokerage relationship agreement? When do you show the no brokerage relationship agreement? It's a very specific time. When do you show it? Shout it out, shout it out. Before showing property. Before showing property, you can find that in chapter four. Before showing property, you're gonna see it. And the last one is, how is the intangible tax noted on the closing disclosure? Now we already looked at the binder, that's a credit to the buyer. How is the intangible tax, how is the intangible tax noted, how is the intangible tax noted on the closing disclosure? And the answer is debit buyer. Sometimes I put debit buyer only. So that was just a quick little sneak peek so that you could say to yourself, boom, I am ready for this state exam. I knew all 10 and I didn't even have to have it in front of me. Um, if you didn't know at least eight or nine of those, um, definitely might want to look into purchasing that cram course. Again, you've been nickel and dime to death. That is the reason why it's only $49 so that everybody can afford it. At this point, you're about to start a career in real estate. You have to join the board. You've got a lot of money that you're about to pay. So you don't wanna to continue to take that test over and over. You wanna get out there and pass that test and start your career. So you can email me, michelle at magnoliaschoolofrealestate.com. I will always, always return your uh, emails and reply to your emails. And you can also call the school at 941-201-9762. You're either going to reach me or if I'm giving class that day, you're gonna reach Jeannie, who is our school office manager. So definitely reach out to us if you have any questions.
And I wish you the absolute best success in this amazing, amazing career. And what an amazing time to get into real estate in Florida. So just wish you the best, 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 best uh, career ever. Have a great day. Bye-bye.